Good evening, and today we are here at Hunter Wien here in Los Angeles, California. And today we're just gonna have a lot of fun, look around and check out what they have to see here and just look at all the pumpkins that you guys can see. They're already ready for Halloween, so why don't you say we get started for today? Let's go ahead and have some fun. Hi. Alright, let's head into Gould Town and see what there is to see. Here's a little map out of different locations that you can go within Gould Town. Let's go check out face painting and see what all they have to offer. It's painting over there where you can go get your face painted and everything. Right over here by the entrance, you can go get your face painted over there. So far, really good way to start off the night they got a lot of led lights going on so now we're heading into a different area right now uh still part of ghoul ghoul land and yeah let's have some more fun here's a look at some of the booth here at happy ice happy life here's some of the stuff they have on the menu pretty cool Lovely home you have. Don't touch anything you don't know what you might tune into. Oh man, definitely won't. Well, that was pretty cool. I never imagined being able to, you know, just walk through like a nice short little house. You know, it was actually pretty cute and everything. So let's go adventure some more, shall we? Cool. So they have a broom photo op happening all the way over here as well as the pumpkin tunnel, which we're about to go through, which is this amazing tunnel over here. They also have a ball pit. It seems like we're in Candyland right now. This is amazing, like absolutely astonishing. The details here are just incredible.
seems like you can take pictures in different houses or in front of the houses in fact. They also have trick-or-treaters out here. They also have people giving out candy for the trick-or-treaters. Kids will be able to come here and get some candy right in front of the houses. They have a merry-go-round over here, also a pumpkin bounce house over there. A lot of fun attractions here. It's like a Halloween party. They also have a toy session where you can come where you can come over here and buy some toys. Some festive balloons. Halloween buckets for a trick or treat on Halloween. That'd be great. Awesome. Have some wands, some bubbles, some light spinners, some more wands over here. If you guys want to purchase some wands when you guys come up here, and some again light up balloon, and some more photo ops. They have a lot of photo ops over here that you guys can take a plenty of pictures okay so this by far has to be the best way to get into the Halloween spooky season and right now we are heading into a fair it seems like where they have some bouncy houses over here some rides as well so let's just keep adventuring around there's plenty of more stuff to see here so let the adventure continue let's go see what else they have over here it's pretty cool they have a pumpkin slide over here and some pretty cool carnival games since I get to throw some ducks when I don't think you win any prizes but still fun to play they also have beer wine trick and treats as well let's go take a closer look so here's some snacks and sweets that they have here might have to grab me some popcorn got some cookies chocolate chip brown butter and pumpkin spice Awesome. And then the drinks are over there back there as well. Let's check out some exclusive merch over here. So we got some pretty cool t-shirts over here. I like this one, the Hunter Wing, the orange and white one. <laughs> the other one's really popular is the good shirt, our brightly colored one. Oh. Yeah, so this is our most our most popular one this, this year. It's it's uh, bright and fluorescent, of course. The darkness got not the white. And it goes off kind of like almost dead mouse vibes. Or, uh, you know, <laughs> Basically, all in all, just come over here, get some merch, and yeah, I think I might grab me one. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab me some merch here and just rock some Halloween vibes. They have a hay attraction that you can actually climb up. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna climb up this. Well, I guess I can. Woo! Uh, never mind. Maybe me climbing this isn't a good idea. <laughs> Some more carnival attractions here. I gotta say, this has to be one of my favorites. I don't think I'm gonna do it today. Maybe on my next visit, I'll do it. Here's a look at the menu at some of the items that they have here. Mamba sliced cheese pizza. Sounds pretty good. Have some boots over here, La Sortes. Also have a place called Mortadeli. Mortadeli. <laughs> Here's a quick look at their menu. Seems pretty good. Might have to grab me a burger. Let's check out to see what they have at Killer Chick. They have a chicken sandwich, hot sandwich, tenders, waffle fries. Sounds pretty good. I might actually have to eat. Five minute wait max. Not bad at all. So they do also have pumpkins for sale here as well. You can go ahead and purchase yourself a nice pumpkin. And that's gonna do it for this evening. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. 
got to see a lot of festivity, a lot of Halloween atmosphere and a lot of Halloween themes and spooky vibes. Again, this, this is a very fun, family friendly event. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it when I get home. But yeah, today in general was just amazing. We got there a little late. We got there like around 8.30. So we weren't able to really view everything. We were just able to view as much as we can due to the fact that it was almost getting close to just like, you know, nine o'clock and they were already getting ready to close. So we just adventure around as best as possible. And I hope you guys enjoy today's adventure once again. Definitely hope that you guys are now in the Halloween spirit. We got to walk through a really cool pumpkin tunnel, which was just amazing. That had to be like the best part, walking through a witch's house, which which was absolutely just astonishing, as well as just being able to just literally capture every little Halloween theme as possible. We got to see a lot of really cool lights. There was a small skeleton dance party that was happening which was actually really cool i really enjoyed that at first i thought it was a dj from afar but then once we got in a little closer once we got inside the dome um it was actually the skeletons that who were the dj uh so that was actually really clever as well um but yeah everything else was just really cool i had an amazing time something else i totally wish that i would have had time to do was get on some of the attractions like the the bouncy slide that would have been really cool to get on and just slide down a little bit um the halloween merch was definitely something i was looking forward to i'm gonna have to go back another time and actually you know do the full experience you know get on some attractions try some games you know pr um maybe get some merch uh, even though i did say in the video i was gonna get some merch but it just slipped my mind so i wasn't able to really purchase merch for today's um adventure i totally recommend going out to hunto ween it is definitely fun I t it's a family friendly amusement park event that you guys can go to and you are able to dress in your halloween costumes as well so that even makes it even more just festive right there i was thinking about dressing up but then i was like no i want to dress up so maybe the next time i go i will dress up for you guys i'm not going to tell you guys what i'm going to dress as you guys are just going to have to wait till that video comes out or and and or you just going to have to wait till halloween to find out um but leave some comments down below as to some guesses of what i'm going to be as this year for halloween i definitely want to hear from you guys and also let me know what you guys are going to dress up for halloween this year and definitely want to uh see what you guys are going to be this year um but yeah so with that being said again i hope you guys enjoyed today's adventure and, and i